Hello. I'm working on a commissioned portrait of this young woman and I've already done one of her eyes and I'm about to move on to the other one. And one of the things that you often notice in your reference photos when you're drawing portraits is that the reflection in the eye can be very large and cover much of the pupil and the iris. That's not a very good thing because uh, it changes the appearance of the eye slightly plus we lose that contrast between the pupil and the iris so one of the things that I like to do is move uh, the reflection slightly to one side and also make it a little bit smaller so how do we do that first I'm going to do a small sketch of an eye just a simple sketch on this piece of paper and I'm going to draw a small reflection in the eye. But this is a tip that I picked up from an American artist called Daryl Tank and I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to check out more of his stuff. Um, so I'm going to... If you have a reflection like this, which is very often the case uh, in many photos and it's covering much of the pupil what you want to do is move it slightly to one side and just draw the pu pupil and the iris as you normally would and you shade around the reflection if the reflection is big or complicated you can just simplify it or make it smaller so now I'm just going to use the tutelion to uh, blend a little bit around the reflection so that it would stand out more so that we have more contrast so this is what it's supposed to look like now it doesn't have to be uh, that small if you want a larger reflection you can make one that is as big as the pupil that's fine but the key is to move it slightly to one side so that the pupil is still uh, visible and so that we have that nice contrast between the reflection and the and the pupil and the uh, iris and the rest of the eye. So like I said this is a tip that I picked up from Daryl Tank. He normally works with graphite pencils but I work with charcoal and I pretty much do the same thing in most of my portraits. I just wanted to show you this tip and share it with you that's it for now. Now let's move on to this uh, time lapse of how I did the other eye. I'm going to work with a medium charcoal pencil. I sharpened it a little bit so that I can have a nice tip and I can draw lines with some precision. And I'm not going to do the eyelashes in detail right now. I'm just going to start on them a little bit just to know where they are. And then I'm going to draw the outer shape and some of the eyebrows. So right now I'm going in with that charcoal pencil just working on some of these uh, darker areas and now I'm going to try to do the iris you have to be careful when working with charcoal pencils when you're drawing things like this because they are very dark so precision is needed another challenge when drawing women uh, can be the fact that in most of the reference photos they will have some makeup but we just have to adapt to it so now uh, we come to what I was talking about I'm just going to draw the 
pupil and not all of it has to be visible because as long as uh, as long as this darkest area is visible I think I think we're good the point is that uh, we need that contrast between the pupil and the iris to make the eye look better and like I said often in a lot of reference photos the reflection can be right there covering much of the pupil and we don't want that so now I'm shading the iris obviously initially it will look a lot lighter but once you start blending charcoal it actually uh, the blending process actually adds a lot of value another thing that you'll notice is that uh, is the size uh, on the, of the tip of my tutilians I have some which are very, uh, rolled very tightly into a fine tip and some which are kind of bigger and of more uh, regular shape so when working on detail like this I want a smaller tutilian with a finer tip now I have that reflection more or less in place but you see what I'm doing now now I'm shading the rest of the eyeball because even though it's mostly white it's not exactly white in our drawing because it's a round object it, it needs to be shaded and this all of it needs to be shaded so that this reflection would really stand out So like I said there's quite a bit of makeup here and uh, fake eyelashes but that's not a problem some of the facial features will still be there I mean the makeup can't distort all of them and I'm also using this brush a little bit so that I can blend some areas even more smoothly Also, I like to combine the charcoal pencils with uh, the, the charcoal pencils I'm using with a black color pencil, and I use the black color pencil to add some details, to add some finer lines, and maybe clean up some of the edges. Now I gotta tackle those long eyelashes.
and by blending them with a the brush I'm also adding some volume to them. And I'm also doing a few of them with a black colored pencil because it's it can uh, allow me to create finer lines. Just a little bit more shadow around the eyes here, which I can also accomplish uh, with a brush. The yeah, eye is mostly done. I'm just going to clean up some of the edges a little bit and work on the on the rest of the face around it. Just a few more touches to these pupils. You can see uh, in my reference photo I had a fairly large ref reflection in comparison to the pupil because of the light. Uh, the pupils were pretty small but like I said that's not a problem uh, it, the size of the reflection itself is not that much of an issue as is the position of it so it's usually a good idea to move it slightly to one side if you can and it doesn't really it's not really a problem in terms of being consistent with your light source because if you move it just slightly to one side or the other it's not a big deal so I'm just cleaning up uh, some of the edges and adjusting the size of that highlight and adding a few of these eyelashes with my black colored pencil and that's about it. That'll be all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye for now.